As we know, it's Labor Day, but unions have not taken the holiday off and are at the picket lines today. There are several strikes going on around the country, including right here in South Florida. CBS News Miami Steve Majiri joins us live from one of the strikes. Steve, that's a lot of people that you've been seeing earlier today. Yes, there were hundreds of people around the South Florida area protesting against AT&T. Manning the picket lines, despite it being Labor Day, they're trying to get a new contract negotiated for the southeast region of AT&T workers. And we also found out that another union here in South Florida may send hundreds of members on strike after, after Labor Day. We're going to go upstairs, which is Perry's in Delaware North. Food workers at Fort Lauderdale International Airport brought a list of demands on Labor Day to their employer, Delaware North. Whatever it takes to make these jobs work for us. Asking for at least $20 an hour and affordable health benefits. Their contract expired about a month ago. The cost of living has far outpaced our wages. If those demands aren't met, they've agreed to go on strike. It will mean every food and beverage outlet here in the terminal, in these two terminals, would shut down. And we don't want to do that. Monique Peterson is a bartender at the airport. She says people are barely getting by, even with tips. People are making food that they can't afford to eat. We reached out to Delaware North several times, but have not heard back. Let's go, let's go, signs up, signs up. Down in Miami-Dade County, Labor Day is day 17 of the AT&T worker strike. Did you think you'd be out here on Labor Day? I did not. <laughs> I did not. Byron Flores has been a technician with the company for 26 years. He hasn't been paid since he walked out of work just over two weeks ago. He's trying to survive on $300 a week payments from his union while they try to sort out a new contract with AT&T. It's sad for the consumer. It's sad for us because we prefer being at work, you know, making our living, doing what we do and what we love. And uh, but, you know, some things have to be done. The United Teachers of Dade held a rally today, standing in solidarity with the other unions on strike on the holiday. Teacher Crystal Etienne says her profession isn't allowed to strike in Florida, so she's happy for those that can. That stands that we're all in this together. I mean, we're all union. We're all brothers and sisters. We're all in the same fight. Fair wages, correct working environment. And AT&T has said in a statement that they're looking forward to negotiating a contract that reflects today's job market and has fair wages. The company has also invited a federal mediator to sit in on these talks. But the CWA union has filed a complaint with the National Labor Relations Board about these contract talks. Live in Fountain Blue, Steve Majiri, CBS News, Miami.